Hello everyone, today on the channel it's time to make a new deck which is going to be a mono black because we just made a mono white and uh, yeah I mean we have not uh, got any MOM cards yet actually we're making this video before March of the Machine comes out and again even after they come out we have to play like one sealed and a couple of drafts to get cards. So maybe the week after this, you can see some um, new deck with much of the machine cards. Till then, we're gonna have to do with the. Uh, gonna have to do with just whatever we got so far. Uh, what we wanna do is play monocolor again. And I know we have this in historic and it's the same card. So <laughs> do we actually have it to play for alchemy? Because we're not gonna use wild cards to get this in alchemy if you already have it for historic. Pretty sure we have a place it in historic, even though we don't know exactly where it came from. Maybe we just use wild cards to get the playset. <laughs> If Arena would actually let us do something here, that would be good. As usual, Arena shenanigans continue. So, can we check how many obliterators we have, or what's it gonna be today, Arena? What's it gonna be today? Like, every time we do something. We have to put up with Arena. It's just getting absolutely excruciating now. Every time we make a video, okay, now we have to restart because it froze again. Even though we already started a while ago. But yeah. So we haven't actually looked at much of the machines yet. It's gonna be fun when we actually get to play the sealed. Sometimes later this week. And then play some drafts. Not sure what else to say. Those new cards, those battle cards do not impress us at all. They might be kind of fun and limited, but I'm not sure in constructed if there's any deck that's gonna wanna deal with those. But well, we're gonna have to see. I mean, we haven't played anything yet, so we could be wrong. Yeah, let us edit our deck. For the love of God. Let's try again. I think we didn't spell obliterator, probably. Yeah, we ate a T. We ate the T. Is this thing like frozen again on the same screen? Like why is it so difficult to make a deck? It's literally frozen on the same screen. Maybe it doesn't like us to search for a bleed obliterator. It doesn't want us to make a mono black deck. Like Arena, tell us what you want us to do. Try to uh, communicate with us. In ways that doesn't involve, I guess you have to restart it. Live on video, because why not? Third time restarting Arena. This always happens when we have a video. Always, always happens. We don't record the video, sometimes it works fine, no restarts. If we have to record the video, doesn't matter what we do, even if it's a draft or something. The game has to restart. Okay, let's try again. Yes, we would like to try again. I don't know if we should even like search. Try to search for Phyrexian instead of Obliterator. Maybe we shouldn't search for anything. Looks like every time we search, the game just freezes. Because it's Arena. 
What did you actually expect? Did you expect something better from this? No, no, no. Oh yeah, it's frozen again. Every time we try to start search for something. It looks like it's one of those days. One of those days, as they say. When everything that can go wrong will actually go wrong. But we haven't had a chance to play the game yet. Because we are stuck on trying to make this like okay, fourth time. We have to reset the client four times. Maybe the fourth time is the charm. Restart it again. And try not to search for anything. I'm not even sure how we're supposed to find that because we don't have any from Firexia or will be one. We just have the historic obliterators, which are already in some deck. Third time. This this is why you guys watch this video. This is why these videos are so entertaining. They are so entertaining. Can we try to search? Again? I mean, the cart is the same, even though the set is different, so it should show up. And apparently we can search. Every time we try to search, the game just crashes on us. I'm not even sure if this is a new bug or if this is a new feature. Oh, look, it actually worked. Yeah, so you can put him in, right? Okay. Next, let us go aggro. Uh, this is not bad. Yeah, we're just gonna try to go aggro this time. Because, why not? Why not go aggro? What else we got going for us? Nothing. Under city plunder is not very aggro. And then we're just gonna need like remover. Just gonna need some remover. If you play her, yeah, she could do some things for us. Some things. Oh, no, not him. Him, and should we play the trespasser? Might as well. Since we are so super aggro. I don't think we're gonna play arena. It's not that type of deck. And we need some remover. I think we just need removal at this point. Oh, hostile negotiation might be good to draw stuff on. Oh, no, we need shield red. And invoke despair. That means we have to take out... We have, we have 30 creatures. Take out one blade. Where is the other guy? Play three invoke dispers. Seems good. And in terms of lands, we got flesh gorger too. I'm gonna try with our flesh gorger. In terms of land, just play two Takianumas. I think that's it. I mean, this deck is not trying to be super, <laughs> super amazing. It's just mono black aggro deck. I think we might actually need to play more removal. Because 4 targeted plus 3 invoke despair does not seem like it might be enough. But who knows, we might be pleasantly surprised. Unless we play against 
super agro decks and then they're just gonna run us over actually i don't think they can run us over they can try we don't need this guy i think we'd rather play one more blade of the oni and one more invoke despair and let's go i don't know if we have any other lands that we want to play let's get it on some unranked games we haven't played obliterator in a coon's age we played against it and I think we have it in our historic deck, one of our historic decks. That's why we have four. To be honest, actually, we can't remember what we have four. But it is what it is. What is happening now? Praetor versus Praetor. But actually, we have Shouldred in our deck. This guy just doesn't really make sense in this deck. But I think it's something that will like confuse the opponent. And of course you can't draw lands because you're playing for the first time. And you know what happens when you play for the first time in arena. Don't get lands. This hour looks pretty good. <laughs> Should have been full color artwork. Let's attack. I think it's a sorcery. Okay, we gotta remember that. Is a sorcery. We have to probably take this out and try to play. Because we don't have any artifacts. Why would you even play this as a remover? Let me play Infernal Grasp over this. I don't know what to say. Okay, yeah, Mono Black versus Mono Black. And we have Grave at response. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. If we're not gonna draw the mana. Yes, we wanna target this and we're gonna have to discard another soul transfer. Actually, no, discard invoke despair. Because if they cast another creature, we can soul transfer it next time. Yeah, we definitely have to take soul transfer out. Play something else instead. No need to be fancy. Of course, opponent is back to back trespassers because why wouldn't they? I think we only have two in our deck. Probably play four. What is going on? There's not that many options to exile. Did this thing freeze again? So the point of making decks and then playing them and then testing them is so you know what you have to change even though a lot of these decks do not become super competitive to play on ranked. Some of them if they go undefeated in just unranked we usually try to play them in ranked. Sometimes we change a couple of cards. Yes, we want to do it because we're not drawing. We are not drawing lands. So if we don't top deck a land next turn to cast our obliterator, we might as well just concede and then change those. And of course they have shouldered because why wouldn't they have? And of course they don't have we don't draw a fourth land. The opponent is already a five land, so we can't even get a fourth land yet. Somehow we're still alive, but we need four lands ASAP. To go double obliterator. They probably have removal spell for the first one, but hopefully not for the second one. But I mean it is what it is if you watch our videos. Every time we make a deck, usually we don't get the fourth land. Sometimes the fifth land. That's what Arena does. Every time we make a brand new deck. Like it doesn't know what to do with the deck or something. 
And now it looks like we are frozen again. And Arena just crashed in the middle of our game. Fifth time, okay? Restarting this wonderful game that made by a company that has like billions of dollars in sales and probably millions of dollars in profit and they cannot get this thing to be stable one iota. We literally have to restart it just how many minutes? In the last 50 minutes we have to restart it five or six times. Five or six times. And of course they change our avatar. We don't have any options for anything. Yes, still our turn. And come on fourth mana. Of course opponent has back to back shoulder heads. Of course they do. Because why on God's green earth would they not have to back to back shoulder heads? Yep, they have back to back graveyard trespassers, back to back shoulder head. Because that seems like a good thing to have. That seems like a good thing to have. Well, we're gonna have back to back fire action obliterators and see if they have removal to deal with them. Otherwise, they can't really block them. Because they will have to suck all their lands. <laughs> and we freeze again. Unfortunately, as you very well know on this channel, we are unedited and uncut. Everything is live recorded. So this happens. What are we going to do? Restart the clan the seventh time? <laughs> How is this humanly possible to have to restart so many times? And like, how are we even supposed to win this game where we're basically missing turns? Opponent's probably taking our turn right now. Waiting for the server. And of course, they have, they're playing, like the game is playing the background. Do you guys see this? There's stuff moving in the background. Like it's telling us we have to wait for our server. But the game is playing in the background, like the opponent is doing stuff in the background. Like... What on God's green earth? Yeah, they went go for the throat, because of course they always have just removal. We should play just go for the throat, this thing too. They only have removal and like, big cards. And of course they have to. This is just absolutely ridiculous. They literally have just like big cards and removal. Wow, okay. Exile. Oh no, it doesn't matter what we exile. They probably drew like another removal. Yeah, the damage stays there, doesn't it? Oh no, he dies. So. And of course they have Arena and they have Bank Buster to draw cards. So they're basically way ahead of us. Uh, we are basically not going to win this game. So we're just going to concede and we have to change. We have to change the deck. I mean, there's nothing you can do. We're behind. Like five lands, opponent just remove any creature we cast, they have removal for everything. They also drop their bombs, back to back to back bombs, and we literally just kill two creatures and that's it. And that cost us an extra card. And we had to restart the game, like twice in the middle of the game. So is that a loss? No, that is not a loss. That's the game not actually allowing us to play the game. So let's go for go for the throat. Instead of the soul transfer. And I think one of these guys is enough. And play three trespassers. And that's it. I'll just go back and try to play some more. So that game is not going to count. Even though we consider the game, it doesn't count. 
does not count in our book. Usually when we get like a manuscript, when we just make these decks and we just play them for the first time or second time or third time, and we get manuscript and we lose, we basically just say it doesn't count. Because honestly it doesn't, like we don't get to play a game. We get to watch the opponent smash our faces, but we don't get to actually play the game. So how does this count? We're supposed to be playing magic here, <laughs> not watch other people draw lands when we don't draw lands. What is up with this guy? I mean, we are in unranked, right? There's no reason. Okay, two lands again. It's a 24 land deck, like every other deck that exists in this world. Isn't this supposed to be blue? It's blue, right? Why are they playing planes? Guess they're gonna drop an island now? No. All the activated abilities are blue. Da -da 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 and the sky is blue. And the sky is blue. He has menace, so we are one military man away from starting to drop bombs like obliterator and shield. The fact that both of these are four mana is very nice because we can play them in our J Ruda deck. Oh, they got the blue out. Okay. What's gonna happen now? They don't have any. And of course, we don't. We literally don't have a fourth land again. Because drawing a fourth land on curve is not for us. Like, we literally would be too good for this deck to actually draw a fourth land on curve. Opponent has a fourth land on curve. Because they are the opponent. <laughs> yeah, there's not much use for this guy. It's just a 2 mana 2 2 with lifelink. I mean, it doesn't really do much. Some people get confused by its ability, but it's not going to do much in an aggro deck. Create a power stone token. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now comes the fun. The fun is coming. Forget about car. Don't care about car. Yeah, of course you have removal because you are the opponent. Sure, and of course we draw back to back show dreads because we are don't get 5 mana for Invoke Despair because that would be too easy. And of course they have something to kill Shodred. Back to back removal for Shodred. Because they are the opponent. Can we get a 5th land for Invoke Despair please? So we can invoke some Despair. For the love of God, or we're just gonna have to play the third shield red in a row and watch the opponent's face, which we actually can't see. Oh my lord, did this thing crash again? Like, come on, we just want to make one video. How can it possibly crash like every two minutes? Are you absolutely kidding us? Okay, no fifth mana, no pff, whatever. <laughs> so opponent is like 10 mana now? 5, 9, close enough. 10, never mind, they have 10. They're gonna cast the guy, yeah, of course it is cave level, of course, and just kill by more creatures for free. Sure. Can we get a fifth mana for Invoke Despair? That would be kind of sweet. Theoretically, it would be kind of sweet. We should have just destroyed this opponent by now. They should have just been dead. But 
course we can't because Corina shenanigans. Okay, let's attack this guy. And we're gonna need you to hurry in. Unfortunately, she doesn't do four damage. If she did, we, <laughs> we would have won. Exile. Uh, they can farewell all the creatures, so that's bad. Still set up, we don't care about. Well, if they kill something, they lose to life. If we could cast Invoke Despair, they would also lose to life and die. Because they don't have enchantments. That's fine, except that this thing can give lifelink now, right? So they can give Cityscape level lifelink and it's basically game over from here. Because they're just gonna gain a life. I mean, we almost had it, we just had one turn earlier. Yeah, they gave you lifelink. One turn earlier to get the mana to actually cast this. <laughs> yeah, but we still can cast it. Well... We still don't have a fifth land either. And we're basically dead. Yeah, of course, back to back cities. It's just jokes. So this video is gonna be one of those where we make a decent deck, but the decent deck cannot literally win any games. Because first of all, we don't get fourth land, we get mana good two games in a row. And the opponent just seem to be getting like, God throws on us. <laughs> Absolute God throws on us. And we w though we have an aggro deck, we barely get any two drops. We didn't get the one drops, but we barely got any two drops. And the opponent just had an answer to everything. They had removal to everything, but we trudge on. It's also one of the last few days we have a chance to actually move up in the mastery pass. We're trying to actually get some wins, otherwise we're just basically wasting our time here. We might just try to play two more games and if we can't get any wins, we're gonna call it a day. A day. That's what we're gonna call it, a day. Because it seems like we're in the non-win phase. Even though this is not ranked or limited, and two lands again. But it's okay because the opponent goes first. So, are we gonna actually reach four lands on turn four? Probably not. Also, both those decks have ways of dealing with Obliterator. Which is kind of funny. It's like they know we have the card in the deck and we have the card in our hands. So, they pair us text I can actually deal with it. Sure. Guess you don't know that our deck is like twenty eight creatures. We kind of have to use this as a ninja thing, otherwise there's not much point on her having a ninjutsu. Yeah, okay, opponent. What about her? We have another Russification? Probably, probably. But we do have Invoke Despair, which makes them suck the enchantment. That is, if we actually draw the FIFA. Which, of course, we didn't draw it. Oh, we don't have Takenoma. Wait, what are we doing? We have Takenoma, so we can Invoke Despair them. What happened? It froze again, but we already clicked. Okay, we did draw the land. That's pretty... F 
funny. Not ha 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 funny, but it's pretty funny. Okay. So they cast something and then we invoke despair twice and then it's game over. Okay. Well, let's move on. And they got stuck on two lands, but like we're not gonna say anything about that. Because we just lost the previous two games to being stuck on three lands. Yeah, we didn't get our fourth land. So let's move on. Come on. Give us a chance to prove what this tech can do. Who needs one drops and two drops in your aggro deck? When you have multiple fire action obliterators and invoke despair, you just need lands now. And of course you don't face any mono red, because facing mono red with this deck we just make them cry unless we don't cast anything until turn four, then we might actually die. But Monored basically cannot do much against this deck. Okay, can we get a third land on curve? Because casting this guy and attacking with Blade of the Only would be pretty sweet. If we can get a third land. <laughs> Which we apparently can't, so we're gonna try one more turn. If we don't get a third land next turn, then we're just gonna concede and move on. We went from two mana flooded games to one game that was working fine the previous one to mana screw game. We don't even know what he does. He just protects himself. Well, it's game over anyway because we don't have lands. Move on. Nobody even knows how many of these games in the arena are actually non-games. <laughs> like, it's just, it's not a game. It's just you draw lands and your opponent doesn't draw lands. Or your opponent draws lands, you don't draw lands. That's it. There's nothing. It's no game. There is absolutely no game, which you think wouldn't happen that often in the arena because it is a software. That's why we're excited to play Arena in the beta. The beta times, this shenanigans didn't happen so often. Just getting mana screwed and mana flood and mana screwed and mana flood and then losing like four games in a row. Because, you know, reasons. And again, a two land hand. Why can we get three or four land hands? Every single hand that we kept has been a two land hand for the past five games. I'm not sure why. If we play this ranked, we probably get one land hand and five land hands. And many people probably say, well, it's supposed to be optimized for two. Two what? And why do you have Blade of the Oni in every single hand? I mean, seriously. Every single opening hand has Blade of the Oni. We only have one now. Oh, we're facing Angel Life Gain. Okay. Which we don't have massacre and we don't have a lot of removal, so this is not a good matchup for us. To be honest, not a good matchup for us. This has mana, so it's one of the best, not best, most fun cards from Kamiga. I guess they don't care because they can just gain life. So we have to drop shoulder then hopefully that will put some scare into them, but with our luck they probably have remover spell for shoulder. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any board wipes. Sure. 
I think we're just gonna go for obliterator first. And attack no with him, attack with the other two guys. Because they have removal, they should take out the obliterator first, otherwise they can't attack on the ground. And then we can drop Shodred. They don't care about taking damage because they can just gain the life. Okay, that's one way of getting it, but that's what we have invoked despair for. If we can actually draw it this game and play it. Okay, so it looks like we're not drawing it. Pretty bad. Where is invoked in spare where you need it? Actually, we can reconfigure this on this guy and it becomes a 5-5 five, five menace. Did they draw remover for Shodrat? If we equip it on this, it's 5-5, five, five, so it's much bigger. Uh, sure, gain your life. Why we have to face life gain decks when we don't have massacre in this deck? There's no board wipes. Just because you're playing mono black? Sure. And of course we top deck many many lands in a row. Because why would we not top deck many lands in a row? Talk with her. They got a double blocker for her to die. Like we need to get some cards off of their field for sure. We could have attacked with the underdog too actually. Wait, they're not gonna kill her? No, they have to kill her. There's some pump spell. Of course he has lifelink and indestructible. Of course. Yeah, because we're playing against opponents that have answers to everything that we have. So I think it's basically game over at this point because we don't have massacre in this deck. Uh, there's no way for us to win. They're just gaining more life than we can actually. So let's go play one more and then we'll call it a day. We'll call it a day. We just basically had enough of this. This this game was like literally our worst matchup. Besides mono red. I mean we need to have invoked there to get the guy back. Which we didn't. Couldn't draw it. The one game that we actually needed to play it to actually win the game. We couldn't draw it. But it's okay because we have multiple of everything and the menace short. Every single opening hand we have the menace on. Can we get like a three land opening hand or is like everything gonna be two? Oh, four. Just when we say like we never get. It's like Arena listens to you. You know, Arena listens to you when you think. You say every single hand is a two land hand. We don't have like a one land hand and a four land hand. So Arena's like, okay, you want it? Okay, you got it. You got it, my man. You got your four land hand. Now what are you gonna do with it? That is a good question. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to win this game and then call it a day for this deck. Okay, looks like we have a mana for invoke to spare this game as well. He doesn't have anything to remove. Opponent is playing some kind of weird control deck. Which is slow as hell. This might be useless.
what okay it's not a control deck what a good screen earth okay so we're gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mana flood you arena says we're gonna mana flood you nice we're gonna mana flood you with nice see you're gonna keep your one your four land hand and then we're gonna draw two more lands that's what we're gonna do after we mana screw your last game we're just gonna mana flood you this game so basically the deck looks like it doesn't work and she's gonna get invoke despair to hell and back because of course the opponent is playing some weird is the blue four or they just and of course we don't <laughs> take two lands <laughs> we literally drew two lands in a row are you kidding us right now <laughs> so we kept a four land hand and we drew four lands in a row and people still say this game is not rigged it's just chance it's not chance okay it's not chance the game knows which cards in your deck are actually what you want to call them what do we want to call them get this bad boy down get this bad boy down and just activate him for funds and attack with both of these guys I don't need to remove anything. They can kill the trespasser, it doesn't matter, they still go to one life. So unless they have a board wipe next game, <laughs> should be game over. I mean next time. Board wipe? Come on, show us the board wipe so we can basically go home. After we drew four or five lands in a row, show us the board wipe. They need to have a board wipe. Which one do they want to use? That is not a board wipe. Even if he gains your life, that's not going to save you. And it's done. Okay, let's go for uh, one more. One more quick one. Hopefully, you can get a third win. Because the deck looks abysmal. It's time to guess how many lands in our opening hand. We literally went from two every single game and four. So we haven't had a one land hand, a three land hand, and obviously a five land hand, which we don't want. <laughs> in real life, one land hand happens often. Three land hands also happen quite a lot. To have only two land hands for like five games in a row is... I don't know, people are just going to say it's randomness. It's not really randomness. Okay, randomness would be if you have like one land hand, two land hand, and then one land hand again, and then four land hand, and then five land hand, and then two land hands. Like, not repeating two land hands for five games in a row. That does not sound like randomness. And even for people that say, well, sometimes there's clumps, like randomness have clumps of something. Okay, if there's clumps of something, like two land hands clump is not random anymore now is it because it's a clump <laughs> of course you get three land hands just like we said there's two and then there's four and then there's three and are we going to get flooded again what is this mono green it is mono green okay Get this bad boy out that everybody expects to come out second turn. How does mono green deal with fire action obliterator? Never mind, it's not mono green. They have ways to deal with it. Duck, and I think we're gonna go for trespasser here. Just use our mana correctly. The next time we can actually cast Obliterator or Shoulder, we can cast Misery, Shadows, or Patience. <laughs> I have no idea what this opponent is playing or why they didn't cast anything. And why do they still have 59 cards left? They have 6, 9 cards. 58, 7, 11. What on God's gonna They're playing 70 card deck. Looks like they're playing 70 card deck. Okay, so they are playing what we thought they're playing, but unfortunately for them, I think there's no way for them to actually beat us. 
He's indestructible. Okay, sure. Don't need to attack. So they are playing Rot Priest or whatever you want to call it. Infest. Golgari Infects. Sure. We don't mind, we still got fire action of bitter return and shield red and like lots of creatures and of course this guy can come back. And they get to use all the tricks, which is okay I guess. I don't know what to say. They get to use all the tricks. Well now they need, they actually need removal. Otherwise, they're not gonna attack anytime soon. But of course, they're playing black, and of course, they have go for the throat. Come on, show us the go for the throat. Show us the going for the throat. <coughs> show it to us, baby. Come on, come on, show it to us, baby. Oh, we forgot to use our emoticons, which we use a lot. Or stamps or whatever on God's Ginner, these things are called. Come on, just show us to go for the throat and attack and get four more points of whatever. Oh, you don't have it. Oh, that is so sad for you. In that case, we are gonna attack. And then I think we should cast. Not the trespasser? Yeah, I just put more boys on the field. Instead of short red. I mean, we're gonna assume they don't have massacre. Well, they're looking at basically being dead on the next turn. Because this thing pumps for one man. This thing trumpers, right? Yeah, let's just double block them and force them to use another one of their pump spells. Which they obviously have. Sure. Whatever opponent, whatever. So he can only hit for seven, so just attack with him. What a weird move from our opponent. <laughs> okay, well, that was quite a win. They dealt 8 damage, they have to suck 8 permanents. Even if he died after the first 5 damage. I guess they didn't know how Fire X and Obliterator works, even though it's sitting in their face. And there you have it, we got our third win. And what a third win it has been. Opponent dying to Obliterate. So thank you for watching, please click like and subscribe for more. MTG content videos.